But we have Atlanta, Georgia here, the downtown and of Fulton County. I believe is where a young thugs RICO trial continues. And we've had you on the show uh, dissecting all of the moments. Today was day five. And I want to pull up this tweet from you, Megan. We've been following it closely because you, you live tweet a lot of these events. And here, you're kind of describing young thugs demeanor today. Uh, explain what you mean about what you saw. Yeah, and this was in the morning when, you know, everyone was waiting, waiting for court to start. And you can see him in the sweater there. The ca camera kind of moves off of him to uh, Nichols, the uh, his co-defendant. But, you know, it just seemed like a, a cold morning in court where everybody was just kind of like sitting, waiting for, for things to start. You know, already a, a boring morning to the uh, boring start to the morning. And I think the one thing that caught people's attention online was the sweater that Young Thug was wearing. But, I mean, you can kind of see everyone just waiting for court to get started. And one important thing to keep in mind is that uh, the defendants are all in custody. So while they're suited and nice now, they were brought uh, over to the uh, court from the jail and have to go through, of course, the you know jail dining process and all of that. So the idea that this is a, a perky morning after a, a, a nice exercise is is definitely wrong. They're just they're waiting for the judge to to get going. So we're going to have a lot more days like that because with a big sprawling RICO case like that, uh, conspiracy, racketeering, they've got so many uh, different acts that they're trying to prove as part of this one charge. It's it's 191 overt acts that are part of this charge. So the testimony is, you know, pretty piecemeal going through these overt acts, which some of them are, are perhaps more interesting or more flashy than others. But this is a lot of testimony from police officers about investigations that they did or traffic stops that they did regarding gun uh, seizures, uh, drug arrests, that kind of thing. And of course, a, a big uh, angle in the cross-examination is the lack of any kind of gang ties in the original investigations because some of these overt acts date back years, even 10 years. And at the time, at the reports that the police officers filled out didn't mention gang signs or uh, gang ties as prominently or if at all, while the witnesses now are alleging that. And that's, of course, the whole uh, crux of this case is that young thugs uh, record label is actually a front for a criminal organization. So proving the gang ties in these charges is very important. So that's, of course, what pro uh, defense is focusing on their cross-examination. And I think we've seen some, some effectiveness, but it's just so early in the case that uh, this is just going to continue for uh, at least a couple more weeks till they take a, a holiday break. Megan, I love that you bring up the fact about a young thug sweater. You brought it up a little bit early on in your answer, but looking through social media, that was kind of the talk amongst so many people. Let me bring up this tweet. It's a photo of him, and you can't really see what's on the sweater. Um, but when I saw and heard what was on the sweater, I was like, that's an interesting outfit choice uh, for a trial in which you are, you know, being portrayed as someone that's part of a gang. I mean, it's a rat holding what looks to be guns. Uh, what did you think of this? You know, it, it, it actually, uh, we were able to pull up the actual Neiman Marcus advertisement for the sweater, and it's about $1,000 on NeimanMarcus.com, although I think it's discounted right now to maybe eight ninety one. And it's a wolf, and I think he's holding a stack of records. And, he, and it looks like he's running with a, a stack of records. But of course, the wolf was definitely pointed out by uh, Joseph, from the reporter for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, who's covered the case since the inception, of course, points out the reference that uh, DA Love, the district attorney, had made in her opening statement to the fact that she thinks YSL is a wolf pack and that Young Thug is the leader of the pack. So, I mean, Joseph is is drawing, I'm wondering if, if perhaps that's some kind of connection between uh, the, you know, if Young Thug is kind of flaunting that. But I did see something that Young Thug's girlfriend, uh, Mariah the Scientist, uh, said to a, a publication today or a news outlet that it's just a pure coincidence. And, and Joseph did say that uh, Shaddy, the other Atlanta Journal-Constitution reporter who's been covering this case, thinks that uh, he might have worn this sweater before in the past. It might just be something that's in the closet that's, uh, that's in his rotation right now and it's not any kind of reference to the wolf pack reference
I mean, Neva Marcus, it's a nice sweater here. I, I kind of freeze framed. Here's some footage from the courtroom. I was mistaken. I mean, it kind of looks like Mickey Mouse from afar. It is a wolf bear. And then it looks like smoke or something coming out. So it's a, you know, very uh, hard to tell, I guess, sometimes, but uh, very interesting. So many people had a lot to say about it over on social media.